This week on Sailing Adrift. Is that graceful? Do I look like a model? This week we are arriving in Santa Rosalia, Mexico. Heading into the harbor. All right, we're slip number four. Hola. Coming into the marina, we knew exactly where we needed to go and had two gentlemen waiting for us to be able to hand our lines to. Personally, I love this about Mexico. Seems like this is very common practice for most marinas here, unlike the US. Whew. Oh man, you know what this means. Yep. Chris gets to take a shower. I am in desperate need of a washing. But first order of business, we need to get checked in, which means finding the main office. Second floor, he said. Hi, am I in the right spot? I feel like this is a question we are constantly asking ourselves. Now we just need to check in. In this case, yes, we were in the right spot. Next, we got all checked in, and it was time to take those much needed glorious showers. Yep, that's what you're seeing. Yeesh. I can't tell if it's delightful to go into a room full of uh, air conditioning or it's just terrible because you eventually have to leave that room. You walk outside and it's like <sighs> sucking air through a wet t shirt. Let's go take showers. What do you say? It's an interesting technique. What's that? Now push. Now you're pushing. Something's not right. Open it. I want to go in. You figure it out. Hi, magical. Nice facilities. Upkeep is rough. Whew. All right. Shower. Ooh, look at that mold. That's not good. It'll have to do. It's shower time. Just kind of falls out of the pipe. So if I were to rate this shower from a weighted perspective, and that being a man in a very hot climate that hasn't taken a proper shower in almost a month, I would give this a solid four. The water doesn't get hot. It smells bad, but I'm freaking happy. The water was the perfect temperature for what I wanted today. I got all my cracks and crevices scrubbed and nothing that, like brown fell on me or anything as far as I know. I had my eyes closed for part of it. <laughs> uh oh, that doesn't work. We'll just use this one. Oh, this one works. That looks like good. Okay, I'm gonna drop the stuff back at the boat and I think I'm gonna grab my suit because if I stay on the boat, I'm gonna start sweating again. If I go up there, there's a pool. The pool. It may not look like much, but it is welcome. Seating, awning, this is great. Is that graceful? Do I look like a model? There's the view. The ass end of drift right out there. <sighs> this feels great. Yes, it felt so good to be here and take proper showers, escape the heat with a refreshing pool, and we were both really looking forward to meeting everyone for tomorrow's Independence Day party. Chris has made us some delicious mahi mahi curry. We've been experimenting a lot with our mahi mahi yield. What is this, preparation number three? Tacos, crudo, and curry. Yep. Now off to bed. It's been a long day. Mm. The following morning. Today is USA Day. But before we get to celebrate, we got a few jobs to do around the boat. Number one, Drifter needs a bath. We've had showers, Drifter needs a bath. We'll probably celebrate with some sort of cocktail. USA style. 
This was the other really important job for today. After our chores for the day, we decided to find our bearings by briefly exploring the town of Santa Rosalia. We immediately found it to be quite colorful, clean, and very charming. Check this out, Kelly. This is a drive through convenience store. You come in through the back, ask them for what you need, pay for it, and go. So convenient. We were both really surprised by this place because we had no idea what to expect. No one really talks about Santa Rosalia. It's not a tourist destination, but we both really couldn't figure out why. It seems to have a lot going for it. We're gonna go grab an ice cream because we heard that this place, Splash, is quite tasty. Yep, we had heard from a few folks in the marina that this was the best place for ice cream, so we decided to give it a try. Plus, it's only a seven minute walk back home to the boat. Three flavors so far. Four. Four. Quattro. <laughs> These guys were really generous with their samples, which was awesome because there are lots of good looking flavors to choose from. Oh, this place is awesome. I asked them what their favorite was and then they just started handing me samples. <laughs> Splash gets a solid five stars from us. Don't tell anyone, but we went back at least three more times during our stay here. Instead of walking directly back to the boat, we kept strolling along the waterfront. This coastal town was a little different in that it does have a malecon, but it's not very popular as the residents aren't super proud of their beaches. We noticed the town offers mining tours in hollowed out caves closer towards the marina, and we definitely plan on checking those out. All along this stretch are old copper mines, but the locals seem almost ashamed of them. The byproduct of the mining process left slag that was dumped into the sea and over the course of time formed black sand on the beaches. We thought this was very cool and unique in the Sea of Cortez. However, because of what the slag represented and how it was disposed of in the sea, the locals do not find the black sand beaches to be something worth featuring. Plus, the slag hasn't had the time to break down and become smooth. It's not like the basalt black sand beaches of, let's say, Hawaii, so there is the danger of stepping on sharp shards of slag. We did see people on the beach, just watch where you step. Mexico, they build a lot of things, but maintenance is not high up on their list. Yeah, I mean, this they, is like super old though. No, but I mean like even the marina we're in, they build it and it's nice, and then they just kind of let it fall apart. Yeah. There's like mold in the ceilings, the drywall's falling apart in their office, they like... There's a cell tower with a giant like animal nest and like tape on it. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. On our way back, we stopped by a water purification place because we really needed a source to top off our fresh water tank and couldn't rely on the marina's water being drinkable. Not having a car, we requested our order be delivered to the marina. We noticed some old mining tunnels similar to the ones they give tours out of closer to town, but a little sketchier. That's crazy, Kelly. Can you imagine if someone's like, hey, go down there and work? It does feel cool. No, gracias. Well, yeah, it's underground. But you're also in this like dirt ceiling thing with like wood supports. We kept walking, making our way down the hill. Here's some more mine shafts. These ones are commercialized for $2-ish. You can go in and check them out. So I might do that one of these days. Right, Kelly? Yes, hopefully we'll love it. When we arrived back at the boat, so did our water. And we immediately filled our tank so we could give the guy back his garrafons. Water day. Uh, we need two more Fun fact, our fresh water tank holds about 120 gallons. These garrafons hold about five gallons a piece, and we only ordered eight this time just to top off our supply. Our tank is huge, but between drinking, showering, and dishes, we go through water pretty quickly while at anchor. There's our South African friends. 
coming to join us here at Santa Rosalia. Ah, what a great place to be. Got the marina here. Very small, cute. And uh, over here is the anchorage. And here's the pool. It's pretty nice, pretty dope setup. All right, we're headed to the pool. We're back from shopping, made some potato salad. My mom's recipe, except we thought we had a can of olives. Turned out to be what, Kelly? Cat food. Yeah, I don't know where that came We've from. We've never owned a cat. Anyway, so we've got all of our stuff, and we're gonna head up to the pool and uh, join everybody. We're about a half hour late, which seems par for the course. Are we ready, dear? Yes, we are. Let's do it. We had such a blast this evening by the pool. Potluck, BYOB style. Met some really cool people that night. Man, I shouldn't have sat in the pool so long. <laughs> Look at what a cold. <laughs> yeah, say hello, everybody. <laughs> hello. Hey. What a lovely uh, event we had. Yeah, it was a lovely event. It was low key and, uh, and now it's quite nice. I'm stuck with you. Lucky. Kelly's got to work today, so I'm on walkabout. Gonna get some provisions, and I do just kind of want to check out the town. And the marina, right over here, and the ocean goes along this whole area. And then the whole town is built back into this like cut in the mountains. It is morning, so first stop should probably be a bakery, right? I think these look interesting. Hostess. Oh yeah. I don't even know what this tastes like. Looks delicious. It's like layered like a Napoleon. It's really good. It kind of reminds me of a cronut. I can eat about a dozen of these, no problem. Wanna see? But I can't just sit around eating pastry all day. I got work to do. I gotta go get groceries. There, got quite a bit of stuff. Most of what we needed, we didn't need a whole lot. Chris then made his way back to the boat, and later that evening made us another delicious fish dish using the rest of the Dorado we caught. Here's fish dish number four. Thanks, Elia. This one is kind of a family style play on piccata. It's got like a caper sauce, very delicious. Would be good with a squeeze of lime, I think. Mmm. The -hmm. well, sauce isn't good for you, but the fish is, for sure. Kelly's off work today, and now that uh, Flynn and Ty from Beluga have made it, we're gonna go do a little town exploring. Should be fun. First stop, brunch. Grabbing some grub at this barriera across the street from the marina. The menu was laid out pretty simple and easy. Food on the left and drinks on the right, but really, we didn't know what anything on the left was. This place was only open a few days a week, so we got lucky. We had to try the Barilla Tacos, Dorado, which means golden. The meat and cheese browned up on the grill. Last time we had Barilla was in Topolobampo, and it was in stew form, so we were both excited to try it this way. So this is the other form of pirria, where they make them into tacos and grill them on both sides. It's supposed to be super delicious. It smells and it's so good right breakfast. now. Yeah. Also, this pairs best with a Mexican Coke, because real sugar is the best. Uh, uh, una coca cola. Una coca cola? Yeah, por favor. Ahí. Uh, really good. That's a media taco I've had in Mexico, man. That's good. Take me to church. Okay. <laughs> and now for some unexpected history. Featuring the Santa Barbara Parish near the center of town. This is a repurposed and prefabricated iron church that was shipped in by the French as a kit when they started the copper mining industry here in the late 1860s. 
In the beginning, the church essentially served as a social gathering place for French women to congregate with each other while their husbands worked in the mines. Later, it was modified and expanded with the functionality in mind to include others. This church was designed by Gustav Eiffel. Yes, that Eiffel. How about that? He is not joking. This church was really designed by the same dude who was responsible for the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Seriously, if you don't believe me, look it up. Some people don't like this church, but others say there are a lot of fans. What? We walked along with our friends to the mining caves. We thought this seemed like a great group activity because we can't all four go missing in a cave, right? Plus, tours were super cheap and it wasn't crowded. The cost for a tour was 40 pesos per person and lasted about an hour. Our tour guide was clearly very passionate about the culture and history of Santa Rosalia, mostly because he was from here and his family had direct experience with the mining industry and how that industry influenced the culture through immigration. Definitely worth checking out. And if you're not a history buff, it's one way to escape the blistering summer sun for about an hour. Your shirt's a whole different color. What do you mean? It's just uh, darker. We came back home to take showers and regroup. Who knew simply walking around in this heat and humidity would be so exhausting? Peacock Kelly ready for one last hurrah in Santa Rosalia. Since it's our last night in Santa Rosalia, we decided a night on the town with our posse in the marina was in order. Looks to be leaving. I love it here. <laughs> oh, we have tonight and tomorrow morning. I'm not leaving till the afternoon. Our friend Lynn from Beluga was spearheading this idea to seek out a really specific hot dog cart she had heard about on several different forums. We struck out finding it earlier, but maybe we'll get lucky tonight. Also, there was something big being staged downtown, but we weren't exactly sure what it was. Hot diggity dog! Did we find it? We Did found we it. find? <laughs> Perritos? Esperitos? Perrito caliente. Perrito caliente? Okay, yeah, then in cocina. Street food is such a great option here in Mexico. Quick, easy, and obviously you're supporting the locals. And if there's a line, which there was, you know it's gotta be good. This looks delightful. Yeah. Onion. That's a splash of man for you. Top five wieners. Best one I've had in Mexico, for sure. <laughs> I'm not a huge mayonnaise fan, so Chris had to take one for the team. <laughs> Your poor mustache. Next, we headed back over to see what all the commotion was about. It just so happened that the town of Santa Rosalia was being accepted as a Pueblo Magico, and the inauguration ceremony was happening tonight. Are you ready? You ready I'm for this? Born ready. Wait. Mm -hmm. The Pueblo Magical Program is an initiative led by Mexico's Secretariat of Tourism with support from federal agencies. The program promotes a series of towns around the country that offer visitors special experiences because of their natural beauty, cultural richness, traditions, folklore, historical relevance, cuisine, arts and crafts, and great hospitality. The focus is to increase tourism, especially smaller towns in rural areas. After seeing the town, it made total sense to us why Santa Rosalia would be part of this program. After taking the mining tour earlier, we had a much better understanding of the history that was being displayed here tonight. It was really cool to be able to experience this ceremony with the town, and to be part of this moment making history in Santa Rosalia. It's gonna suck leaving this place, but living here ain't free, and we gotta keep moving north. And now, for this week's blooper reel, sponsored by our patrons, Thickened Epoxy. And by Chris, I mean me. Get over here closer to me, okay? But you smell bad. I do smell bad. 
You know that hilarious joke you make where you talk about like, uh... This is Captain Goose, who was famously stabbed in the asshole. That's why I look so surprised. I peed a little. Just kidding. Really I peed scary. a lot. Just kidding. Came out the other end. It's getting worse. TMI. Hey Kelly, get out of that spot. I had three rum and cokes. How to go? Yeah, there's like. That's fine. Spirit. We can do this. I've had plenty of hot dogs. We can't show it on video, but I just did. <laughs>